Hello and welcome to STF Wargaming Studio, I'm Wile and today we will be unboxing the May Acid Drop Box. So here is the core supplies discovery from Acid Drop, uh, which is a monthly uh, subscription box with uh, some paint supplies or uh, other various hobby supplies like basing materials. And you can get it from acidrop.co uh, or .co. Um, and it will set you back about 20 pounds for, for uh, the monthly box. So let's see, it, it's, uh, it looks great as always. See. In all of the acid drop boxes, you get this lovely guide, um, which tells you a bit about the product. And there's usually a painting guide or a tutorial uh, telling you how to use the products inside. Uh, let's wait a bit for that one. Interesting. As always, there's uh, some piece of candy in there. This is interesting. So there is a sponge on a stick. There's like a spatula thing inside, or just some hard plastic to keep it. So it's rather um, uh, rather firm, actually. Hmm. We have some Instar paints. Four different ones here, and they all have. Um, oh, it was the uh, the lid. Okay, so we have mats or IV zero one, IV zero seven, racing red mat, and some burnt red mat. I've never heard about this brand before. Um, a neat little boxes, ten mil. Interesting, and I, I really enjoy painting reds. That's one of the colors I think I paint the most. The camera dropped, so uh, I still don't have a tripod. Um, but yeah, so these are the um, Instar red paints. Get those out of the way. And we have some Italieri paints. I know of uh, Italieri as a producer of pasta kits. But I have uh, I didn't know they had a paint range as well. So this is uh, flat gold gray. And there's flat medium gray. And there's graugrun. I guess that is um, green gray. So this is an interesting bottle on these. Hmm. Another variant on on the dropper bottle. And then we have some mission models paints. Cool. I have heard about these um, on uh, the uh, Paint All the Minis podcast, um, which did uh, where Dan Adams had an interview with the guy that's uh, behind these, um, and they sound really interesting. But they, uh, I haven't. Got a hold of them yet until now. Um, let's see. So, this is transparent dust. So these are made in the US and apparently are really, really high quality paints. Um, and then, lastly, we have uh, light rust, transparent light rust. I'm thinking these might be for some weather, weathering and maybe we use this one for for it let's see so I haven't missed anything let's get that out of the way and let's have a look at the guide from Andy note as always so yeah these are weathering 
products from uh, Mish Models. As you can see, the Italieri paints are about the same. So these are 20 mils and these are, how big are they? Doesn't say on the 30 mil. Okay. So these are um, 280 a piece and these are 599. So, so the mission model paints are quite expensive by the looks of it. Um, And the Instar is 150, so an awesome sponge brush. Ah, so uh, these greys are used in the um, painting concrete guide, which would be really nice because um, there is. Uh, I have Walking Dead on my desk, uh, the Walking Dead miniature game, and there's also coming out the uh, Last Days. Zombie game, zombie apocalypse game from um, Osprey, written by Ash Barker from Guerrilla Minish Games. I'm really looking forward to playing that, so I should paint some concrete for that. So this guide should come in handy. Um, and then he used the sponge to uh, sponge on uh, texture. As you see, there's a very extensive guide uh, describing in detail and using pictures as well. And a guide on how to use it on just regular flat bases like the ones you get from Games Workshop or, uh, or similar. And just painting on the cracks that looks really really nice actually oh. then on to the mission models weathering paints and show you how to get some quite effective uh, effective uh, weathering and then there's a guide for painting red cloaks and I do paint a lot of um, red cloaks. It says here about Instar Paints that Instar Paints are a rel relatively new company based in the UK. Uh, so that is nice. So that might be why I haven't heard about them before. Cool. So I'll have to, um, to uh, paint some red cloaks. Again soon, I think I have some. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of corn guys on my table at the minute, so I could uh, try using these. And as always, 5% um, of all the profits go to the Blue Marine Foundation. Um, so that was the May Acid Drop Um uh, with a lot of cool new products, and I think I'll have to. Uh, they they all re come in really handy without me even knowing what's in it and thinking that I have any project I could use them for. Um, yeah, interesting. I I really enjoy uh, getting this box every month. Um, they also have their heroin sets, which you get a, a one of kind. A female heroine model and they have a monster uh, bi-monthly box as well with a, a large monster for any fantasy fantasy need or any monster needs you you have um, also with some uh, some hobby supplies so I've hoped you enjoyed this uh, unboxing um, you can check out the uh, product yourself on asadrop.co um, you've been watching STF Wargaming Studio on while. As always, please comment, like, share and subscribe. And please consider supporting us on Patreon and enjoy your hobbing.